Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are having a great day. Uh, we are back and I'm actually, for the first time in a very long time, actually in the, for the first time ever since I started playing the DLC, I've been hyper excited about coming back and playing. I just haven't had time to play during the week because of uh, work and stuff, but you, you won't know that. Because you get to see this the day after anyways, but yeah. So I've been very excited to play, I've been wanting to play it for a while. Uh, just like back in the base game, I used to be very excited about uh, playing. Uh, so let's hope that this is the point where the DLC becomes significantly better anyways uh armor set i just put on <clears throat> our elden lord's armor set or a uh except from the helmet i think this helmet is pretty cool i think there is another helmet out there that is sort of similar uh, the trusty commenter on my videos pointed out that I, I missed out on the set because I messed up the uh, Rykard questline. I went to him a bit too early so I didn't get the mission. Apparently it's a pretty cool set. I think it looks somewhere similar. I'm not sure. Either way, I always thought the Caden helmet looks pretty cool. So there we go. Going with this uh, Norseman style look suits the axes. Probably won't be using the axes for too long. Oh crap got buffed interesting interesting helmet that's a different helmet than the other guys uh, have in the castle right so I don't see any uh, lost graces here so let's just go at it and I uh, last last episode I forgot to read about the new the new skill required I'll read about that later. That is a cool helmet though. A mistake has been made. For sure a mistake has been made. Okay. Not very fun enemy. I think these enemies that just attack for 10 minutes straight are boring. I think that's lazy design. Oh, not starting off on a good foot here. Shadow of the Earth Tree, the DLC. Just uh, tossing nonsense in your face. It's essentially the same problem in the real armor. Just boring, long chains of attacks. Um, although that helmet is pretty cool though. But am I ever gonna bother farming it? I guess. We'll see. I can find a way to cheese kill it really fast. We did lose the bonus soul kill, but I don't think I think it's only runes. I mean, not souls. I don't think there's anything else. So. Ah, it's on me. Whatever. Let's just. Oh, 
frame drops? What? Dude, what is up with this DLC and its frame drops? Six frames? What the hell? That's actually a lot of damage. Again, <laughs> this DLC is not good. Do one of your long, boring... Ah, oh, that was it. That's not what I want. Dude, what is happening with these frames? I, there is nothing being run in the background here. Yeah, man, this uh, this DLC, it's... Uh... You know what, screw this. I, I, I don't... I just lost all interest in playing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna use the bird and get over it. It's the same bullshit enemy as the one in the castle. Just with some projectiles and some shitty grab. Playing so bad because I don't care. <laughs> All right. Well, that was lame. Um, Raises defense with higher equipment load. That seems pretty good, actually. A discus made of verdigris, the corroded metal known for its heft. Raises defense, okay. Great weight makes for great strength. This strength is protected, okay. Alright, anyways, gotta recover some of that lost energy. Um, yeah, as I was saying before, this douchebag uh, enemy. I was uh, been very excited to uh, come back to uh, Elden Ring for a week. Been busy during the week with work and uh, been tired and stuff, so I had no time to play. And I did have the same feeling as I had, it was feeling of excitement as I had as I was pl when I was playing Elden Ring. I was uh, always genuinely always excited to come back to Elden Ring after each recording session. So I was kind of hoping that this was a turning point for the DLC. Uh, where I would feel that same level of excitement. Uh, unfortunately, the DLC crapped all over it, but... Let's see, maybe this place is better. I'm still excited to see uh, what this green place looks like. Although we're back to having this uh, smudgy dark visuals, sooty, dusty visual style again, so... Holes. 
fall off. What is this exactly? Oh, it's something, uh, something I probably skipped when using the teleporter. Oh, didn't see that. Anyways, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is actually color. I'm just looking forward to going to a place where there is some color. Because this DLC has none. Um, but... Uh, seems like we're lacking. Frame drops. Horrible. I don't think I had a single session of frame drops in Elden Ring, the base game. Uh, in the DLC, it's happening quite frequently. And I now see... That there is no way over there. What? Okay, we're getting some sunlight, finally. Ah, look at this color! Green! Oh my god, the game has more colors than just dark... Dark yellow and sooty dirty black. With some black flame or a flame, red flame with a black tint. Amazing. Look at this. Actual color. Looks great. Too bad there's barely any of it. <laughs> I guess they used up all their color budget in the base game. Yeah, uh, um, there's no way here. Up there. I'm not gonna lie. If, um... If this doesn't lead anywhere, up there, I, I'm just gonna be upset. To be honest. The only thing about Shadow of the Earth Tree that I've been looking forward to now for a week is to enter this place. And if I can't enter this place from here, I'm just gonna be mad. see nope oh my god man maybe there's something over here missed so stupid the only part of the game that looks nice breaks my frames Secret door. Somewhere. I'll check uh, that side as well in a second. I'm just gonna check over here. No. I don't think I can jump over there with a the horse either, right? That seems a bit too. No, that's impossible. <laughs> That jump is impossible, right? Yeah, it's not even halfway up. Right, let's see if there's a... Something we missed over here. Finally got some light so we can see better. I saw some flickering over here. Nope, that's it. Nope, guess guess I was baited. I was flat out baited. There's nothing here. Just this stupid enemy and this stupid talisman. Actually, a talisman is probably pretty good. Ah, oh, okay. And that's pretty long walk over to the green area. I'm not sure if I can do it in one session. Unless I just skip everything. I don't know. Let's get to it. Is that an NPC? Or... Right, do I just go take the map first? Yeah, let's go just take the map. 
might help me see a bit better. Oh, a lollipop guy. This one doesn't have a pony though. The one with the pony is over there. Right, we'll, we'll drop this later. Ooh. This is water? That looks cool. This place looks cool. Oh, and more green! Oh, that's the shadow of the earth tree. Right, I think um, I'll move over here. This direction. We'll we'll wait with this. I, I want to see the green stuff that I plan to look for. Ah, oh, pony lollipop man. Another one. So bad, what happened? I just used all my stamina, holy bananas. I don't like the moveset. I genuinely do not like the moveset. Oh. Never mind. Of the dual axe, I just don't. I don't think I'm gonna stick to this for very long. It has such a drag to it. And you would think that would come out faster. I think this is the correct way. I just wanna see what's down here. my style. If I'm gonna be that slow. If I'm gonna be that slow, might as well just use a colossal weapon. Uh, too bad that the moveset, the skill is really cool, but the moveset don't like it. Um, is there anything else fun we can try in the meanwhile? We just tried this Vyhind remove set. Ah, do you know what? Let's go with Blasphemy Spray. Ah, let's try Spyhind for a bit. Means we also remove. No point in looking like a uh, Norseman anymore. Can go for a different style. Um... Actually, you know, I really like the Ronin armor. I think it's probably one of the best looking armors in the game. Question is what do we do with the helmet? Anything new we maybe want to go for? Does that work? Yeah. That works, let's go for it. Right, we don't really have a good Ash of War, so no point in using this. Let's just use the recovery, HP recovery one. I don't like using it, but honestly... I don't want to roleplay through this part of the game. And 
this armor set is so good looking. Holy crap, kudos to whoever designed this this armor set. It is so cool. It's just really well designed. Like every bit of detail on it is just so so good. Right. Um Right, we should actually go down there and clear out that. It's not a fort, it's more like a wall or a gate. Checkpoint. So let's go check it. Uh, the way down is over here. Alright, but the question is, how do I get down there? What is up with the... I think it's the water! There's something off about the water, it's causing, like, it's wreck wrecking my frames here. How does one get down? Twenty six thousand, that's not exactly a lot. Oh yeah, the skill. My bad. I forgot about the skill, let's quickly check it. Also we could just add a cool Ash of War to this weapon. Now that I think about it. What would we want? What do we want? Lion's Claw? We can try the stamp thing. I haven't really played much with the stamp abilities. Maybe it's just really good. Right? We've tried Lion's Claw, so it's fine. Let's try Upwards Cut and then try Sweep some other time. And I think we have a Talisman that works well with this. Not wrong. Got one. Like reduces damage taken when you do this kind of. That's for holding stances. That's for critical hit. This is when uh, you're defeating an enemy. This is for weight. Use that one as well. Um, let's see. Position. What? Didn't I get a talisman that says you take less damage from like... Why am I dreaming? Or maybe I'm just mistaken, maybe it's this I'm thinking of. I... I, I, I guess I'm just completely lost here. Then I think uh, Shadow of Alexander should be fine. And the question is, do we go faith then? Are we like sacred? Or flame art? Yeah, let's go flame art, right. Ah, let's go sacred. I hate, I hate holy elements. But... Ugh, oh, another pony man. Pony? Pony man. I guess we can try the skill a little bit. 
Oh, it's a different weapon on this guy. I a lot of damage though, I don't think this is suitable for something Someone that has so little armor But uh, the range is... Uh... Wow Smithing Stone 5. Thank you, sir. Amazing. Wait, did I even use it? I think I used the skill wrong, actually. I'm pretty sure I used the skill wrong. Yeah, I used it wrong. Alright, well, we keep playing. What is all these inputs? Oh, this game, man. This game and all this input queuing. I don't think that's uh, one that vanishes. Yeah, never mind. Uh, actually, let's give it a shot. Let's, uh, I'll try the heavy attack. Come here, lollipop man. Early. I'm gonna hit by this. Um, let's try it. But that trade is really bad, though. Unless again, I'm using it incorrectly. It says prevents recoil. Is there one that prevents damage? This is just recoil prevention. Let's try this one. Royal Knight's Resolve. Maybe that's better. But I don't think the Ash of War is useful here then. I mean the Shard of Alexander. But we can go for something else. Um, charge attacks maybe? Let's go with this for the time being. That's a bit overkill. This seems like a very good weapon, the Zweihander. Shadow Sunflower. Alright, anyways, enough time wastes. Uh, see, I've wasted enough time in this episode. I'll uh, extend the recording a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately, when the game is being weird and uh, it's not that exciting to move forward, then it becomes more exciting to just look at the items in your inventory and stuff. I don't like it, but I didn't make the game, so... It 
interesting. <laughs> well, we know what we're gonna do about this. Let's see. Where is my bow? Ah, another weapon I should probably try is the uh, Swift Spear. I think that one's pretty good. Here we have a bow. And do we have a fire arrow? We do have a fire arrow. Well, that's nice. If I do this, 